Chase, we got to here with the Blue Futon. We're going to go over the Oscar predictions for December 2023. And you know what? There's probably going to be some changes because the Golden Globes nominations, the Critics' Choice nominations, and you know what? I don't know what I changed in the past month. So we're going to do this together and kind of be shocked being like, oh, what's the new categories? Because I truly haven't looked at Gold Derby. I do have the list right here to see what's going to be the bottom 10 or S for me for different categories. But let's just get started, y'all. All right, according to Gold Derby, the top 10 are Oppenheimer, Killers, Four Things, Barbie, what? Holdovers, Maestro, American Fiction, Past Lives, Anatomy of the Fall, and Zone of Interest. Interesting. So Color Purple is out of the top 10. What? No way the Golden Globes did that. Anyway, of course, you know for me, I rewatch Past Lives. And it still does nothing for me. Past Lives does nothing for me. I'm sorry, I don't see the hype. I don't see the tears. I just, I go, oh, sad story. Next. Like, mate, that doesn't do it for me. Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. That gets my emotions riled up. This one doesn't. What gets me riled up is this thing in the background for Best Anime Picture called Nemana Nimona. They talk about transgender children. Nah, that, that's indoctrination. Anyway, that's not about that. Get rid of this fucking ad. But anyway, my top 10 right now is Oppenheimer. It's going to be now Oppenheimer, Four Things, Holdovers, Killers, Maestro, Anatomy of the Fall, Barbie, Zone of Interest, American Fiction, and The Iron Claw. I know Iron Claw is still a freaking long shot, but I got to keep that in my top 10 for some bonkersness. Because who thought, uh, you know, the... Guillermo del Toro movie made it in last year. Who would have thunk that? Anyway, so when going, let's just do bottom five after that. So 11 through 15. My 11 will be past lives. Okay, I have to do that. It's doing solid. Put it in there. My number 12 is air. I'm putting air in over color purple. I think air has a better chance. Have you seen all these critics choice golden globes? I think air has a better chance. 13 will be the color purple. I think that is fair. 14, May, December. I think May, December is shooting up in those charts. So it's going to be in there for sure, especially with the acting categories. I think I'm going to read Chain because I took Julianne Moore and Natalie Portman out. I think they might be back in. Always trust your gut. And number 15, I'm going to have to go with, uh, could it be Nyad? Could it be Napoleon? Could it be... I, I just don't I just don't see anything else. But if I have to do a fifteen, my fifteen is gonna be I um <laughs> I'm 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 dumbfounded. No, we'll go with we'll go with Nyad. I think Nyad because the two actors will put Nyad in fifteen for shits and gigs. Alright, let's save this category and go next. I think next is director. And right now in director, the top five are Christopher Nolan, Mars Scorsese, Yogos Ranthamos, Greta Gerwig, Jonathan Glazer. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know. I just don't see Jonathan Glazer being in there anymore. The director's category does some awkward stuff like Triangle of Sadness. Randomly, the director got in there last year. So it is going to be some snubs and oh shit moments. People think, oh, maybe Bradley Cooper. I don't think Bradley Cooper's going to make it in there. Uh, I still don't want to put Greta Gerwig. I just don't. I watch Barbie again. I, I, it's not my movie. I just can't hype that movie up. I really still want to put Anatomy of the Fall in there. There's going to be an international director. So I think that is in there. But people are saying, oh, zone of interest. Um, but I think I'm still going to go Christopher Nolan, Yogo Sprint Lanthimos. Mark Scorsese, Justin Tridette, and my fifth is going to be Alexander Payne for the holdovers. I know that one's the pretty ballsy one, uh, so we'll keep it there. So we'll do that, save it. My number six, I will have to go with Greta Gerwig. Just makes more sense. Number seven, I have to go with Jonathan Gazer for sure. I think I said Glazer. It's Gazer for seven. Number eight, I'll go Celine Song because she did pretty good in the Golden Globes. Number nine, Bradley Cooper. And number 10, I will go 
Ford Jefferson for American Fiction. So that is my thingamaboobs. Let's check the next category. So for the Gold Derby, actress goes Emma Stone, Pete Lily Gladstone, Carrie Mulligan, Sandra Huller, Margot Robbie. Fantasia Brino's not even in the top five anymore. Wow. Um, shocker. Absolutely shocker for that one. Here's the thing. I don't think I could put Barbie in there. I don't. Fantasia Brino, Maybe. Annette Bedding, Maybe. Greta Lee? Maybe. Madeline Portman? Hmm. Um, with this one, I want to put Emma Stone at number one still. Carrie Mulligan, two. Lily Gladstone, three. Sandra Huller, four. Number five, my gut is telling me either Greta Lee or Natalie Portman. I got more from Natalie Portman's performance, just how fucked up it was. So I'm going to go more Natalie Portman for this one. Even though that might be a little bit more ballsy, but I think Natalie Portman's a more of a high-profile name. And she'll make it in there. I, that's just my thing. Fantasia Brino can make it in there. But anyway, let's go with my number 6 through 10. 6, Margot Robbie, of course. 7, I'm going to go with Annette Bening. I really enjoyed her performance in Nyad. I really did. 8, I'll go with Greta Lee. I will. Number 9, Fantasia Brino. And number 10, we'll go with Spainly for Priscilla. And we will stick with that for the top 10 on that one. And let's go to the next category. Next category is Best Supporting Actress. I kind of do it that way. Let's do actresses first. According to Gold Derby, Divine Joanne Randolph is number one. Danielle Brooks, two. Emily Blunt, three. Jodie Foster, Nyad, four. And Julianne Moore, five for May, December. Okay. Taraja out. I thought I had her in there, but I might have taken her out before. I have Penelope Cruz in there. So here's the thing. Jodie Foster for Nyad. If she's in there, would Annette Bedding go with her? That's my thing. And if Danielle Brooke is in there, would Fantasia Brino go in with her? Good questions, Chase, right? Maybe wrong. Anyway, my top five, I'm going to stick with Divine Joy Randolph, number one. Number two, I'm probably going to go Jodie Foster. Number three, I will go Danielle Brooks. Number four, I'm going Emily Blunt. And number five, it looks like I have Penelope Cruz. I think I'm going to take Penelope Cruz out. Uh, I know that America Ferrera is getting hype now for Crick's Choice. What the fuck is that? Uh, Rosemont Pike, because of Golden Globes. I just don't see it. Saltburn ain't going to get any nominations. So, since I went with Natalie Portman, an actress, I have to go Julianne Moore for May, December. It's the only thing that makes sense to do it that way. Number seven, we're probably going to go Penelope Cruz. Number eight, I will go with Rosemont Pike. Number nine, I'll, how is Rachel McAdams that high up? Bonkers. Number nine, I'm going Viola Davis. Watch that horse. And number 10, I'll go Penelope Cruz. So that is my order, right? Did I say it right? It was what? I don't even remember what I said. No? Scratch that. Number six, Penelope Cruz. Number seven, Rosemond Pike. Number eight, Viola Davis. Number nine, Taraji P. Henson. And number 10, I'll go with Rachel McAdams over at America Ferreira. I will have to go with Rachel McAdams. But is there a bonkers one down below? Let's check. No, not seeing anyone. But we'll go now. I think Rachel McAdams is brand new. Congratulations, you're in my top 10 now. All right, let's go to actor. Boop, 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 boop. I think this one is pretty easy in my opinion according to gold derby number one killian murphy number two bradley cooper three paul giamatti number four leo number five jeff Louis Wright. i have to agree with that my order though is going to be killian murphy number one paul giamatti two bradley cooper three jeffrey wright four leonardo DiCaprio five number six i'm going to have to go with andrew scott number seven Coleman Domingo, because no one is talking about Rustin as a whole. Uh, number eight, I'll go with Zac Efron. Number nine, I'll go Joaquin Phoenix. And number 10, Barry Kogan for Saltburn. This might be the easiest category. I truly think, could the snub be Leo for Coleman Domingo? That is my question. 
could it be that? But, you know, a lot of Crick's choices are loving Killers of the Flower Moon. So, maybe, maybe. Alright, supporting actor. According to Gold Derby, Robert De Niro. Or, sorry, Robert Downey Jr., Robert De Niro, Ryan Gosley, Mark Ruffalo, Charles Melton. Okay, this is where I'm going to go a little bit bonkers. This category I'm going bonkers with. Number one, I think this is Robert Downey Jr.'s award. Number two, I'm going Mark Ruffalo. Number three, I'm going Ryan Gosling. Number four, William, actually, sorry, scratch that, Charles Melton. I think, I, yeah, I already told you that Charles Melton's number five. Charles Melton took over William Defoe's spot, which probably makes sense because people are mostly talking about him. Uh, but William Defoe gets in all the time. And a lot of people are talking about Sterling K. Brown getting in. Like I said, there's a lot of bonkers ones in this one where I want to, like, talk about funness in this one. Uh, so I know Sterling K. Brown did not make it, but William Defoe made it in Golden Globes. So, uh, is Golden Globes really noticeable? And then it seems like American fiction isn't getting that much buzz as I thought it would. Uh, I don't know how poor things are going to do in the box office, though. But people are talking about Charles Melton, and I am taking De Niro out. I'm taking De Niro out. That's my bonkers. Is I feel like he's going to get a snub. But with this, I want to keep William Defoe winning to have him at 30 to 1 odds that he's better chance than Sterling K. Brown, in my opinion. So let's take Sterling K. Brown out and put Charles Melton in. And I think Charles Melton is number 4, William Defoe number 5. Number 6 to me is Sterling K. Brown. Number 7 is Robert Downey or Robert De Niro. Number 8. I'm going to have to go with Dominic Sessa, 9, Gwen Howerton, and 10, we'll go Coleman Domingo for The Color Purple. Sure, he's not going to get a double nomination. But anyway, let's continue on to adaptive screenplay. And according to Gold Derby, it was Killers, Oppenheimer, Four Things, American Fiction, Zone of Interest. I'm pretty, I, that's solid. That's a freaking solid one. My order, though. Oppenheimer, Four Things, Killer, American Fiction, Zone of Interest. I don't think anything's really changed. And with this one, I'm not even going to... I'll maybe do a 6 and 7. And my 6 and 7 will be All of Us Strangers and Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret. I mean, I'm not even sure if I want to put a 7. Like, this should probably just be 6. Could Society of a Snow, though, make it in? Can that be like the Top Gun this year? I need to see Society of the Snow and see how that does, but maybe that's the Dark Horse. So no, we'll do that. Eight will be Society of the Snow, and we'll keep it at eight. We'll be safe and no. We'll Society of the Snow seven. Are you there, guys? Me with Margaret eight. Let's do that. Priest, do it. Save and next. All right, next one we have original Gold Derby is Holdovers, Past Lives, Barbie, Anatomy of the Fall, Maestro. This is the odd one. People are talking about May, December. Did I screw up? Pa uh, I don't, I'm not on the past lives train. Um, can Anatomy of the Fall be the snub? I love that. Could Maestro be the snub? Oof, this is a hard one. Okay. Okay. I, I'm taking Maestro out. And putting past lives in? Oh my god, this is a tough one. Because every... Oh my god. What do I do, people? I mean, the only reason I'm keeping Barbie is 101, even though I think that screenplay is very fucking weak, and that will always be my number five. Um, I'm taking... Maestro out and putting past lives in. So it's going to be Holdovers, Anatomy of the Fall, May, December, Past Lives, Barbie. Six will be Maestro, seven air, eight salt burn. Leave that that. Pretty simple. Oh boy. Craziness galore. Best cinematography, Gold Derby, Oppenheimer, Killers, Four Things, Maestro, Zone of Interest. Uh my top five, Oppenheimer, Four Things, Killers, Maestro, Zone of Interest. Everything after that is literally has no chance. But we'll, we'll just go with it. Number six. Let's go with Saltburn. Seven. Let's go with Barbie. Eight. 
Let's go with the Killers. Let's go with the Killers for number eight. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, continue on. This is where it kind of gets like, is there going to be changes? Probably not a lot. Anyway, costume design. According to Gold Derby, Barbie, Poor Things, Killers, Color Purple, Wonka. This is one where I have to make some, I made some goofy changes. I want to keep Poor Things. I want to keep Barbie. And I want to keep Killers. I think those three are the most solid ones to stay in. Uh, Napoleon made Critic's Choice, but who really, I mean, Critic's Choice and Wonka made it in. I'm going to see Wonka tomorrow, so I'll see how that goes. Um, looks like I had Napoleon Maestro in. I think I'll, maybe I like that. Maybe I don't. Uh, Greg, according to this is Color Purple and Wonka. I think Color Purple, let's take Color Purple out. Uh, I think Napoleon has a solid chance. I mean, the costumes were freaking amazing, and there's a lot of them. Uh, color purple just seems they are the same for everyone. Uh, Oppenheimer seems a little, I mean, could Oppenheimer be here before my strokes? There were a lot. I mean, Oppenheimer's is kind of the same thing here with a bunch of people with suit and tie. Uh, that could be the same thing with Maestro. Maybe Priscilla might get it in before, like, you know, some Wonker stuff. But anyway, let's just keep it as four. Let's go with the point still. And number five. Maybe I'll go with Wonka because they had to do no. Then do I want to take Napoleon out? And Maestro seems a little. We'll do that. We'll do Wonka. You're back in. So let's go. Poor things. Barbie. Killers. Napoleon. Wonka. Six. Maestro. Seven. Priscilla. Eight. Oppenheimer. Keep it at that. We're not doing ten no more. So we'll do it at that eight. All right. Next one. We got film editing. So, according to this, I have, or Gold Derby, Oppenheimer, Killers, Poor Things, Holdovers, Barbie. Yeah, I made some bonkers his choices that I need to probably change <clears throat> because I have Anatomy on there as well as American Fiction. I, I got to take American Fiction out. I got that to 101 to Oscar. I think it would be fun. I do think the Holdovers deserve to be in there. Editing was another bonkers one last year, or like, you know, Don't Look Up gets it. What the fuck is that? We got to think over the top five movies of the year. Oppenheimer, Poor Things, Killers, sure. Barbie, I don't know. Holdovers, yes. And that's why I think Anatomy of the Fall is going to stay in there. So I got rid of American Fiction. Going to put Holdovers in there. But I will have to put Holdovers over Killers. So it's going to be Oppenheimer, Poor Things, Holdovers, Killers, Anatomy of the Fall. Uh, I'm going to take Anatomy of the Fall and get it at 16 and 1. I just don't see Barbie or Maestro, maybe. I haven't seen Barbie. But I heard the editing in Namio Falls fantastic, so let's keep it like that. All right, makeup and hairstyle. Corn and Gold Derby, Maestro, Barbie, Four Things, Garden of the Galaxies, and Oppenheimer. Uh, for me, Maestro because of the nose. <laughs> Barbie, of course, yes. Guardians to me, of course. Guardians is in there for sure. That's my number three. Number four, I could go with Four Things. The question is, what's number five? Oppenheimer, Color Purple, Nyad, Wonka, Priscilla. I think I'm going to stick with Nyad. Something about the makeup and hair you have to do for the water works overall, especially the sunburn scenes as well. It was done extremely well. Uh, so let's keep that my same five. Put six, we'll go Oppenheimer. Seven, Wonka. Eight, Priscilla. I'm, I'm losing. I'm getting out of the color purple train. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Continuing on with production design. According to this, it goes Barbie, Poor Things, Oppenheimer, Killers, and Color Purple. And you know me, gotta get rid of color purple. Uh, I have four things. Number one, we'll keep it. Barbie at number two, let's keep it. Oppenheimer three, keep it. I think there could be some bonkers in this one. Uh, four, I think Killers of the Fire Moon is in the fifth slot. It looks like I had Napoleon and I got 64 to one. Right now it's at 25 to one odds. Uh, looks like it's tied with Asteroid City. Let's keep it. Let's keep Napoleon at number five. Not a lot of changes at this one as well. Like I said, six, seven, eight, we'll go with. Asteroid City, Wonka, Saltburn. We had to go with Saltburn with number eight. I think Saltburn production design was pretty freaking solid. And I think that is the dog horse. So let's put that at number eight. All right, we're going pretty quick now, aren't we? <laughs> All right, best score. According to this, Oppenheimer, Killers, Poor Things, Spider Man, Zone of Interest. I think I'm going to make some. 
bonkersness in this one. Oppenheimer, yes. Poor Things, yes. Killers, yes. Zone of Interest, yes. My number five is going to be Society of the Snow. I heard people are loving that score. I got to keep it. People are thinking maybe the Bore and the Huron because the Golden Globes. Not really. I'm also not a Spider-Man fan. It's, it's just a mid-movie in my opinion. So we're going to keep that. That's my biggest change, Society of the Snow. But we'll go number six will be Elemental. Seven will be Born the Huron. And eight, we'll go in with, maybe I do have to put Spider-Man just because it's gained a lot of choices. So we'll go, you know, Elemental. What did I choose for six, seven, eight? Oh, yeah. Elemental Born the Huron, Spider-Man. All animation movies. Fascinating. All right. Best song, I think this is going to be a tough one. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. Uh, right now, according to this, is Barbie, Barbie, Color Purple, Rustin, Wish. I think Color Purple's out. I had it in there. I had that, Peaches, and it never went away. I'm keeping Peaches in there. I'm keeping the Color, pur color Purple's out. Barbie. Barbie. The problem is Dance Tonight. Will they really do three out of the five Barbie songs? No. No fucking way. Uh, but I will put Rust and Road of Freedom. It seems like that is one that's getting in. But that's but I'm keeping Peaches and I'm keeping American Symphony and Never Went Away. I got that for 101 odds. I don't even know why the fuck I chose that for 101 odds. And right now it's already at 28 to 1. Why did I pick it? That's where you trust your gut. Anyway, so I'm going to go with Barbie, Barbie, American Symphony, Peaches, Rhoda Freeman, Free Freedom. Number six, we'll go with Dance the Night. Seven, Willy Wonka. Eight, uh, what, what do you guys think? Should I go The Wish? Or should I go, let's go with The Wish. Let's go with The Wish at number eight, even though, yeah, let's just stick, let's stick with that. Sound. Oppenheimer, Maestro, Killers, Color Purple, Ferrari. I do not have that. I have Oppenheimer, Maestro, Killers, Zone of Interest, Ferrari. I'm keeping Ferrari in there. I think that's a better chance than Color Purple. Color Purple, get out. I think Color Purple is going to be snubbed for a lot of stuff. Uh, but 6, 7, 8, I'll keep Napoleon, Killers, and Society of a Snow. Actually, it says Napoleon, Society of a Snow killer i like that one instead but we'll keep it right there where we're at i think we're almost done visual effects so this was a bonkers one because you know what happened oppenheimer was out so i had to quickly add and i added godzilla but let's see what it's at right now garden of the galaxy number one interesting number two creator three spider-man four poor things five dungeons and dragons um i went crazy on this one number one godzilla Number two, creator. Number three, no, I'm lying. Number two, sorry, guardians. Number three, creator. Number four, Napoleon. Number five, society of the snow. I, I'm going crazy with this one. And I think this is the fun one to do. Six, how is spot, spot, I, six, Dungeons and Dragons. Seven, poor things. Eight Mission Impossible. There we go. I like that. This is my fucking bonkers category. Bonkersness. I think animated features are done. Animated feature. Spider Man. Born the Huron. Elemental. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wish. Uh, Mana. Nah. Transgender children. Indoctrination. Anyway, my prediction Spider Man 1. Born the Huron 2. Elemental 3. The Pleasant. The Peasants, 4. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 5. 6, 7, 8. We'll go with 6, Super Mario Brothers. 7, Susumi. 8. We'll go with Wish because it's still somehow getting in there. But we'll do that. And I think that is it overall. Yes. And I'm sorry if I offended. No, I'm not sorry if I offended you about the transgender kids. It's one of those things like the Goosebumps girl that was a dude. Or, yeah. It's like you turn to a dude, but then you're gay. So, technically, you're still biologically straight. Shit like that just confuses the 
fuck out of me. Anyway, chase like you're the blue futon, like, comment, subscribe. Who don't think it's Bluton Topia? You Bluton think it would be great day. I'm to watch this tape tomorrow, week now, month, right year for every single freaking one of you. And how did I do? I got a lot of updating to do. Do do.